What's up guys, welcome to another Photoshop Dad tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna be creating this really cool Mandalorian style image out of a toy. So here, if you can see, this is gonna be the before and the after shot. And we're basically gonna be compositing the whole thing and it's really not that difficult. There's a lot of coloring that's involved, which we'll go over, but the, you know, there's probably like five or six different coloring layers. But really, the, the exciting part is just stitching the backgrounds together, picking a cool background, putting it behind, adding some moons, this, that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you wanna follow along, just click the link below. You can get the follow along files and practice as you know we're doing this whole thing. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now, first thing, you wanna open up all of your files. There's probably five or six files here that I'm including, and the first one is the Mandalorian. So the first thing you wanna do is go around this and just cut it out with the pen tool. Hit P on the keyboard, and you're just gonna click, and click and drag, and then hold down the Option key or Alt if you're on a PC, and then you're just gonna go around this image just like this. Okay, then once you've finished, just connect those dots and you're gonna right click and go make selection and I'm gonna uh, feather this at two right here. And then go shift command I, that's gonna invert the selection so it's gonna delete the background instead of deleting you know, the man there. Okay, perfect, so we got our first piece. What I wanna do is extend this background just a little bit. So I'm hitting C on the keyboard for the crop tool. I'm gonna extend this something like this because I know I'm gonna put in a background. And now we're gonna go over to our next image, which is our background shot. So bring this in, we're gonna place this right behind, and you know it's gonna be something like, like this. And actually, let's bring back the crop. So it's right in there, just like that. And hit enter. Okay, so the next part of this is we're gonna go over to the, um, there's a few pieces that we wanna bring in. First of all, our moons. Bring the moons in, and we're just gonna place them here. And very simple, you can pick whatever moon you want, but I'm going to pick, let's see, I'm gonna put a mask on this, and I'm actually going to invert the mask, hit Command I, and all I want is just one or two, actually just one moon over here. Let's do this one over here. And then I'm switching black back to my black brush, we're gonna paint out that other moon right there. So, doesn't matter if you have black, because this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on the image here and go to a screen blending mode, bam, right there. So what screen does is it, um, if you have a black background, the screen will take out the black. And then just go back to the mask and I'm going to be painting out some of that, perfect. So just like that, okay. And then now let's bring in some of our other pieces. We'll, we'll cut out Yoda's head. So go to the pen tool, same thing. We're going to just cut out his head, start here. Okay, so I'm actually gonna crop this down just a little bit more, just like that. And now that we've brought in all of our different pieces, I'm gonna take the moon, I'm gonna hit Command T to flip it, and it's gonna be somewhere right around here. Let's, let's make it a little bit smaller. Hit Enter, and what you wanna do is make a mask around this, and we're gonna paint just around the edges. Whenever you are blending stuff in, you always wanna get rid of the, the edges just like that. So we are not gonna use those, we don't need those. And then, being that it has a black background, we're gonna go to a screen blending mode, bam. So there's our moon. I'm gonna twist a little bit, reposition, perfect, something like that. Maybe bring it down even further, and I'm actually gonna bring that down a little bit further, and then also crop a little bit further down. So there you go. Now let's place our uh, Yoda right here. So Yoda, grab the head, make sure that it's behind the Mandalorian here. Hit Command T, and we're gonna make this a little bit smaller, just to size, something like that. Little funny guy behind the scenes. Okay, so let's actually twist him a little bit more. Just like that. And then this piece right here is gonna be our explosion. We're going to turn it kind of sideways just like that. And then once again, do the same thing. Mask out the edges, because you don't need those. And you don't wanna mask too far down because you can see here there's all this like, those sparks and stuff, which is nice. So go back to the image, click on the image, go screen blending mode, bam. Okay, perfect. So we have most of our pieces. The last piece would be the, actually there's two other pieces, the cape over here. So this is kind of interesting because I took a random cape from, well, it's not a cape, it's just a dress, but we're using it as a cape. So what you gotta do, go to the pen tool again, and we are going to 
cut this out very quickly. Now here's one thing on the edge of this. Let me show you really quick. So the edge of the Mandalorian cape is sharp. It's not really rounded like this. So I'm going to, we're gonna fake this a little bit. So when you come around here, instead of making it a round edge, we're gonna kind of make it a sharp edge. See how I did that? So just make it a sharp edge. Same thing down here. Sort of in this area, we're going to make it a sharp edge. So one second. And connect the dots, right click, and once again, we're gonna do it at two. Um, feather at two. Okay, so we have our cape. So let's bring this in. Compositing is all about just faking things, really. You know, we get it from a dress, but it looks like a cape and whatever. So we're making this a little bit bigger. Placing it somewhere right there. That looks good. And then we're obviously gonna color all this in just a second, but we're just bringing in our main pieces. The gunfire we're gonna bring in at the end. So for now, let's go ahead and get to the coloring of this. Each piece needs to be colored because obviously stuff is not blending too well right now. Okay, so first thing we're gonna color is the background. So I need to go to a curves adjustment layer. We're gonna add a curves adjustment layer and bring this down just like this. Um, I'm actually gonna add a second curves adjustment and do, I actually forget that. Let's just copy this up. So hold down option, copy that up. So each one has the same setting. And I, usually I do that because, you know, I like kind of the darkness of this, but then I'm sort of messing around with this one and this one I can go maybe darker, lighter. And we're just gonna leave it right there. Okay, next thing would be a color balance layer. In the color balance layer, we're just gonna mess around with mid-tones, bring the science, because I want this to look more like a dark night type image, so we're gonna bring this to about 30, something like that, and like 83. So then with these nighttime images, you wanna desaturate just a little bit. So I'm gonna desaturate to maybe around 44 something, just like that. Then let's go up to the next piece, which is the small moon right here, and I'm going to desaturate this just a little bit as well. Now make sure this is a clipping mask, so hold down Option or Alt, and it's only affecting that layer. And let's bring that moon down until it's matching somewhat the color of this. You don't want it to be totally like that, black and white. Just bring it a little bit down, okay. Okay, so onto the cape, we're going to do something a little bit different. So create a blank layer right above, and I'm gonna call this my black layer. What we're gonna do is paint using a black brush and paint it in completely, because red obviously doesn't work. So we're gonna paint it black, but here we've lost the detail. So what you wanna do is bring this down to a color blending mode. And now it's, you know, it's darker black or gray, whatever. We just need to add some, add a curves adjustment layer and darken that up. So once again, make sure it's a clipping mask by holding Option or Alt. And then I'm just gonna bring it down just like that and bring that up slightly. Perfect. And then now above this, we wanna add a little bit of color because there's gonna be this, um, well, well, we'll actually add that later, but what, we're, what we wanna do eventually is add color into the highlights of the Mandalorian, Yoda, and the cape here, but I'll leave that for in just a minute. Okay, so now let's go up to the Mandalorian and let's start coloring, adding some color, adding some brightness. Add a curves adjustment layer. Everything's gonna be clipping masks on each one of these pieces. So here I'm just gonna bring down the curves a little bit and bring it up just to add a tiny bit of contrast on him. And then we're going to add a color balance layer right here just to have him match a little bit more. So once again, we're gonna add some blues and some cyans, something right around there. And then just barely some cyans. So right there, so if you turn it on and off, oh, make sure that's a clipping mask, I'm affecting the whole image there. If you turn it on and off, he's turning a little bit more blue, which matches with the background, which is great. All right, so I didn't wanna make this video too long, so I've actually created a part two. You can click either a card here or below or wherever it is, but there's gonna be a part two to this video. And once again, if you wanna follow along, remember to click the link below and you're gonna get the follow along files. Okay, talk to you soon.